I want it to get dirty, I could probably go inside. Welcome back to Runner's Garden. This week in Zhanghua, Taiwan, I am searching for a sleeping bag, a sleeping mat, and a rain cover for my pack. Right now I finished going to a store near the train station, huge camping store, and then one that's actually quite near my house and it's cheaper and it's all local products made right here in Taiwan. I'm on a busy shoulder, but at least it's a pretty big one on uh, Zhongyang Lu. Two for two about having really good salespeople explain everything to me because I'm kind of new to overnight hikes. And I'm planning to do Snow Mountain in May and just kind of getting ready for that. You have to book stay in the lodge and your permit about a month in advance. It's getting into March now. Next month we'll be putting our reservation in. The first camping store said that I should be looking into a sleeping bag which will get me down to zero. And you can check out the video here where I interviewed JC, my uh, running and hiking buddy. Uh, he also recommends uh, getting a sleeping bag down that will go down to freezing. But the second camping store kind of said, well, you're gonna be wearing maybe a puffy, um, you know, pants when you're sleeping. And in May, in the hut, the 369, you might not need a sleeping bag that's gonna go down that low. It's gonna be lighter to get a sleeping bag with less down in it. And so I checked out one that I really like. I'm not really scared of being cold. I'm usually hot. In fact, when I sleep here at night, I'm often, throwing my cover off. So I think I might go with the sleeping bag that will take me down to six degrees centigrade. On the plains, and then you go up to over 3,000 meters, they're saying that you could lose 18 degrees going up. So keep that in mind, guys. And then it was the sleeping pad. The They had an inflatable sleeping pad and at the first place, they weren't quite sure if there was a pump involved. She said you might have to blow it up. Not too much into that. Um, she recommended if you're not gonna camp very often that you get accordion style mat. They're kind of bulky. They don't puncture, so that's good. But I kind of fell in love at the second place with a self-inflating mat. It's really light and it will fit in my pack going towards ultralight uh, camping and hiking. And I have a third store to go to on another walk, see what they have to say. I'm, I'm going to ask the same questions and it's got to shop around. This is Zhongyang Bridge. Last time I went uh, about a half a kilometer that way, not even. And now I'm going about just under a kilometer. This way. I'm gonna check out the third camping store. I've been to this one before. They also have one in Yuanling. It's a Tunis, I guess. I bought my camping stove there. There it is. This is Zhongshan Road. And here, ask some questions. Okay. 
，这个是睡垫。睡垫。对。哇、哦，这个也很轻。就是薄垫，它是一个人的。哇、哦。One people. One person. Yeah. 这这种比较舒服，比较。它这个是自动充气的。嗯。Okay. 它是自己吸空气的。OK。可以折起来，对，它可以卷卷,卷起来，到大概成这样。像这个多少钱？这个它现在是一四五零，一四五零，对，一四五零。然后这样子卷，就是大概这么大。Okay. Okay. Now also need a pack cover， 水袋，水袋，水袋，<笑>不一样。一个是 water water pack， 一个是 sleeping bag。对，对，对，对。谢谢，谢谢，拜拜，拜拜。Okay, mission accomplished. The second store had better prices. There's also a huge camping store near Jalafu or Carefor on Jimma Road. If you're familiar with Zhanghua, it's massive, but it's not a good place to walk to. It's not good if you're a pedestrian because that Jinma Road is crazy. And I like that one that's right by my house. It's cheap. The uh, staff is really attentive. It's got what I need. I love all the nooks and crannies of Taiwan. I've been learning Chinese for 25 years or more, on and off. I'm still making errors with tones. So today I went into the camping store and asked for a water bladder. Shui Dai. But I should have asked for Shui Dai. Sleeping bag. Well, you live and you learn. Let's go look at the speedboat. Kind of worried about going on the grass here. Dog poop. This is like a little junkyard there's the c400 in the scrap yard looks fun today i'm doing hit training on the bike got a little clock right there from ikea i do a minute at normal speed and then a minute at sprint Going back to camping store number two. Got to be on the busy road just a little bit. I was walking down the road and I, I'm seeing like police everywhere. And down at the other intersection, maybe some dignitary will be in town. I don't know. I think there's pack covers in there. But I'm gonna wash my pack first and bring it over here and see which size I need. Okay. So in re retrospect, I might go down to a uh, three degree bag instead of six, which is not much bigger. A little bit more expensive, but we'll see. I've never heard of this brand, but the materials, let me put this down. There is something I have heard of, which is Primaloft and Thermalite fabric. Yeah. Okay. So that's a liner. I think I'm gonna get the mat today too. Okay. Chengong Successful. So uh, you saw what it was on the on the calculator, 
without even me saying anything, she took it down to 4,500. I'll put the equivalent below. And then she gave me a balaclava. And a pair of socks. So I'm pretty happy about that. Here's a massive motel. My Taiwanese students always giggle when I say motel. I don't know if it's the kind that you pay for the hour, but this looks like a pretty nicer one. So the sales lady who was there last time wasn't there this time. I think it was maybe this time it was her mom. Last time we kind of spoke a little bit and I introduced myself as an English teacher and she has heard of our cram school before. Didn't send her kids there, but she knew of it and she was very pleasant. This time, when the second sales lady was introducing items, she didn't know a price, so she had to call that first lady on the cell phone and ask her what the price was for, uh, just for that liner. And I just chirped in, I, I was like, oh, this is my chance to maybe get a better price. In Chinese, I told her that, hey, I just kind of shouted like, hey, this is the foreigner from last week. She goes, oh, get ta yo hui dian. Usually, if you buy anything here in Taiwan, you can, you can bargain and most times they allow you a few dollars off here and there. But always remember to ask politely for a discount. I haven't found too much about the Latum company that makes a sleeping bag, but I did find in English on Amazon that they do sell a fleece liner, which can also be used as a sleeping bag mummy style. And it adds, I think it was 12 degrees to your sleeping bag. I quite like the stuff sack. There's a part that you can cinch up on the top and then you can tuck it down and then there's a lower cinch. So that would hopefully help in keeping water out if there's rain. Push into the right to lock. Okay, that seems easy enough. That's locked and that's open. I don't hear anything, but I assume it's filling. Give it a few minutes, see what happens. I ended up just using my mouth and blowing it up. It was really quick. This is the thinnest. It's 2.5 centimeters, and you have four options here. I'm asking for trouble here. I'm gonna try to put this back in the stuff, stuff sack. All right, so it's open, fold it. It's not so bad, is it? Yeah, close the valve, valve. And back in. All right. I found the perfect place to store my sleeping pad. This is the closet that is the tallest, so I can leave it. And this is the way you're supposed to do it, is leave the valve open, and you could put it under a bed, but I want to keep the dust off, so I might actually put a garbage bag over the top of it and then keep this door closed. Probably going to get all kinds of comments about how to roll a sleeping bag, but... My last sleeping bag was like twice this size back in the 80s. <laughs> it's showing my age. Guess I'm just gonna stuff it in there. First drawstring. And then, oh, I have to tuck this down. Cinch that. Put the excess string in there. Then the other one here. And we got the 
minor. Hmm. So on here, we just simply have a, a snap right there. Allows for easy access. The hardest thing to get back in is this liner. Just stuff it in there. Let me know in the comment section uh, what you would pack for a two-day trip in May to Snow Mountain in Taiwan. Zhongwen, England, 都可以。